Taiwan to me is a land of wild nature. Gifted with exquisite and unexpected flavors that the hands of its people bring to life. But these unique tastes haven't reached out to the world yet. So I'm asking for help from some of our best friends here to bring the best of Taiwan to the world. My name is Fabio Grandjean. I'm a model, actor, and traveler. And I found my place on the island of Taiwan. I'm exploring the taste of this island and meeting people like me who decided to move here in order to find out how much our own homeland we can find in the hidden ingredients of Taiwan and give back to our new home a bite of what we grew up with. I first came to Taiwan 10 years ago. I've suddenly fell in love with this country, its rich culture and its natural sceneries. But there is something that left an even deeper mark in my experience. The flavors of this island, hidden amidst its mountain slopes and farming fields. Today, I'm in Nanshi, just an hour drive outside Henan, to meet one of this land's most renowned fruits, mangoes. Zhang Shengyuan is one of the most well-known mango farmers in Taiwan. In 2020, he was awarded king of Nenshi mangoes, so I'm hoping I can learn a bit more about these fruits from him. Zhang Hey, hello, Tutsu. Hello. Okay, mango was first developed in Florida in the 1930s by blending three different types of mango. Since it arrived in Taiwan in 1962, this island proved to be one of the best soil to produce this strong flavored sweet and ruby red fruit. Mr. Zhang and his family have worked on this land for almost four generations. And this time has left them with deep experience of these fruits. So now it's time to see if he can infuse some of his knowledge onto me. Oh, 应该我现在种的比较好吃<笑> 100多塊。The sweetness of the fruit reflects the dedication that farmers like Mr. Jiang put in perfecting their work. And after a full day of work, I finally have the chance to taste that. Yeah, 
，可以变成一个高级的法式甜点吗？可以啊，我相信可以啊，但是需要有个专门的人去研发如何制制作这个食物。嘿嘿，好龙很香哦，很香。所以现在我开始想，这个可以变成哪一种法式甜点呢？ My next mission will be to turn these fruits into something unexpected, and I know exactly who might be the best partner in crime. Hello, Fabio. Hey, hello, Fabio. What's up? How are you? I'm good, thank you. You're good? Yeah, very good. <laughs> Let's go. Just like me, Chef Julien Perrine came to Taiwan from France five years ago after traveling through several Asian countries. He has been able to bring the best of France to Taiwan and the best of Taiwan in his case. Oh, so here we go. Freshly baked galette bretonne. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's actually my mom recipe. Is your mom recipe? Yeah, you you bring here. yeah, I bring it here. It's like I bring home, back in my new home. The Galette Bretonne is one of France's most well-known desserts, common amongst all walks of life. And Chef Perrinet was able to recreate it even here. I visited Taiwan as a, as a tourist like oh. around maybe 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. I got the chance to, uh, to visit the country. And I was like, yeah, that's a great country to come from and to, to, go, to go to work for. And when I arrived here, actually, I was like, wow, it's like welcome home. I really appreciate it. Beautiful. Yeah. And when you first arrived here, what was your first decision in the kitchen? What, what did you want to bring to your staff? So the first decision, of course, since I'm French, I want to bring French pastry here. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the sort of very important things. When I arrived also, the first, uh, the cake shop was just opening. Okay. So I got like freedom to basically uh, create a lot of cakes, uh, French pastry, uh, that people ask me to. And I really want to uh, express myself by doing a, a French pastry, but with the Asian touch. I see. Okay, yeah, because also need to make sure that the, the flavor is also um, for the Taiwanese. It's a big challenge. It's about the sweetness. How to reduce the sweetness for the mm -hmm. cakes? Because of course Taiwanese don't like to eat too sweet. And talking about challenges, I've got a big one ready for my friend. So here you have the earwin mango oh. that I brought from Tainan. Beautiful. Do you think you can? from this mango into the finest French dessert? Yeah, definitely. It smells so good, it's so sweet, so yummy. I definitely think we're going to do something awesome with it. Since basically you like very much the Sable Breton, mm -hmm. we are going to use that as a base of the cake. After that, I think we're going to make a, a jam, okay? We have mango jam, using also some, uh, some puree, different type of puree exotic, to also bring the, the freshness of the mango. Okay. I really feel that, you know, there is a, as a French, we have some feelings related to desserts. I mean, for me, a good meal without dessert is not a good meal. It has to be with dessert. And I think this is really important for French people. Mm -hmm. It's getting there for Taiwanese, I think. In Taiwan, it's not yet there, but uh, it's getting better and better. But I think, yeah, definitely in France, we must have a dessert. Here we go. I haven't done this for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the passion with whom Julian treats his ingredients, I realize now that Taiwan has brought us more than just exquisite fruits. You know, I feel a, a similarity between the mango and us. You know, the mango came from another country and find the right soil here in Taiwan and had a completely different growth, you know? The taste is so much better, the texture, and this was one of the best mango. Mm -hmm. And for us, coming from a French background, you know, and coming here with our skills, with our culture, and finding another culture, mm -hmm. but that also taught us a lot. Make us grow as Make well. Make us grow right? as well. Yeah. The same way Taiwan gave us a new way of seeing things through its ingredients, and the land to realize our dreams, we now can't wait to give something back to the place which made us what we are today. And there is no better way to see if our mission has succeeded than hearing it from those who will be serving it in the future. Everybody have? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh. oh very good. <laughs> See you go. Yeah. All right, let's try it then. This is really good. Do you think it's still sweet or? No, I feel more, I feel more the acidity. Acidity, huh? I would say that. Everything is mixed really well. Do you think Taiwan has the best mango? Oh. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs>
With its colorful appearance and its sweet aroma, the eerie mango was somehow an easy start. That brought us even closer to the people living in our land of dreams. Just like the mango, we are the new fruit of this land. And with our creativity, we want to keep our land of dreams thriving. <laughs>